Welcome, Cherubs, to section 3.8, Slopes of Parallel and Perpendicular Lines. Slopes of Parallel Lines. When two lines are parallel, their slopes are equal. If the, two, if the slopes of two lines are equal, then the lines are parallel. Any two vertical lines vertical lines or horizontal lines, not of or are parallel. So in this first example we're checking for parallel lines. Are lines one and two parallel? So we can determine that by calculating their slope. So the slope of line 1, line 1 would be negative 4 minus 5 over 2 plus 1. So this would be negative 9 over 3, which would be negative 3. So that is the slope of line 1. The slope of line 2 would be negative 4 minus 3 over negative 1 plus 3. And that gives us negative 7 over 2, which is negative 7 over 2. So these slopes are not the same. They are not parallel because the slopes aren't the same. Slopes are not equal. This next example says A, B, can a, uh, check for parallel lines. L segment AB contains A, which is negative 13, comma 6, and B, which is negative 1, comma 2. CD contains 3, comma 6, and 6, comma 7. We have to determine if they're parallel. So we have to figure out the slope of AB. So the slope of AB would be 2 minus 6 over negative 1 plus 13. So that's negative 4 over 12 which is negative one-third. So AB has a slope of negative one-third. CD would be seven minus six over six minus three, which is one over three. These are not the same because one is positive, one is negative. Now, when we write the equations of lines, of parallel lines, we first have to identify the slope of the given line. Because you know the lines are parallel, you know that the slopes are going to be the same, or will, they will be equal. You also know a point and the slope for the line, so use point-slope to write the equation. So here we have writing the equations of parallel lines. What is the equation of the line parallel to y equals negative 3x minus 5 that contains the point negative 1 comma 8? So because it's parallel, so the parallel slope is negative 3. Then we have this point, which is x sub 1 and y sub 1, and we can use point slope form. y minus y sub 1 equals the quantity m times x minus x sub 1. So y minus 8 equals negative 3 times x plus 1. So y minus 8 equals negative 3x minus 3. We can add 8 to both sides. y equals negative 3x plus 5. And again we have another one. Writing the, we have what is an equation of a line parallel to negative x minus 7 and contains negative 5 comma 3. So here the, this slope is negative 1, so the parallel slope is negative 1 as well. So y minus 3 equals negative 1 times the quantity x plus 5. So we distribute the negative 1. y minus 3 is negative x minus 5 
we add 3 to both sides, y equals negative x minus 2. Now we move into perpendicular lines. Slopes of perpendicular lines. If two non-vertical lines are perpendicular, then the product of their slopes, then the product of their slopes is negative 1. If the slopes of two lines have a product of negative 1, then they are perpendicular. And any horizontal line or vertical line Are perpendicular. So here we can check to determine if lines are perpendicular. So line L1 and L2 are neither horizontal nor vertical. Are they perpendicular? So we can figure out the slope of line 1. That would be negative 4 minus 2 over 0 plus 4. That would give us negative 6 over 4, which is negative 3 over 2. Line 2. To find that slope, we would have negative 3 minus 3 over negative 5 minus 4, which is negative 6 over negative 9, which reduces to 2 over 3. Negative 2 over 3 and 2 over 3 are opposite reciprocals, so yes, they are perpendicular because the lines, because the slopes are opposite reciprocal. And we can do the same thing here. We have two points again, so we figure out the slope of AB. So the slope of AB would be negative 1 minus 7 over. 3 minus 2. So this is negative 8 over 1, which is negative 8. CD's slope would be 7 minus 6 over 8 plus 2, which would be 1 over 10. Here we would say no, they are not perpendicular because the slopes are not opposite reciprocals. not opposite reciprocals. Writing the equations of perpendicular lines. First we identify the slope of the given line. Then you have to recall that the slope of perpendicular lines have a product of negative 1. They are opposite reciprocals or negative reciprocals. You know a point and the slope of the line to use. So you will again use point slope. So, writing the equations of perpendicular lines. What is the equation of the line perpendicular to y equals 1 fifth x minus 5 that contains a point 15 comma negative 4? So the slope of this line here is 1 over 5. The perpendicular slope would be the opposite reciprocal of that. So it's going to be negative and we do the reciprocal. So just negative 5. You can have negative 5 over 1 but it's just negative 5. Now we have the point and we have a slope. So we'd have y plus 4 equals negative 5 times the quantity x minus 15. So y plus 4 equals negative 5x and 15 times 5 is 75 and that's plus 75 then we can subtract the 4 from both sides. y equals negative 5x 
plus 71. Writing the equations of perpendicular lines again. What is an equation of a line perpendicular to negative 3x minus 5 that contains the point negative 3 comma 7? So the slope of this line here is negative 3. The perpendicular slope, which is the opposite, reci opposite reciprocal, would be 1 third. So now we're plugging these values in. We'd have y minus 7 equals 1 third of x plus 3. We distribute the 1 third. y minus 7 equals 1 third x plus 1. Add 7 to both sides. y equals 1 third x plus 8. And that is the perpendicular line. So there you go. That's how you write the equations of parallel and perpendicular lines. Try some of the practice problems. Let me know if you have any questions.